That's the Jango Classic. Yep, me and Jango are the only ones that like like Lilac. Well, Everyone I guess else. Bebo too. Bebo just kind of picked me to Lilac. Uh, I don't think he's a big fan of it. Because I it, sometimes still hear him like... Now, a lot of jokes about Lila are just pretty facetious at this point. Oh, because everyone hates Lila, so it's fun to make fun of Lila. Okay, oh, so just getting right into like, it, and uh, he's getting a lot of early grab conversions on Jaco. He's also. Oh, okay, and he's dead. And he's gone. Yeah, he got greedy and didn't go for ledge. He wanted to go on stage, and then straight at Smash in the face. Yeah. Uh, he did it to. I don't remember exactly who who was, but he down tilted someone twice and then spiked him. Oh, I think that was a tempo. Yeah, but he has a pretty commanding lead this time. Down yeah, tilted has a hard time getting in against really long disjoints like I. Can go on gave 17 percent. Yeah, and he, he's on his last legs right now. Oh, uh, that could have potentially, potentially been a spike if Jago was more prepared. Yeah. Because Ike is not armored at the very top of his ether, so you can get him out of stuff there. But solid conversion with cargo throws. Oh, and another? He's not gonna quite die. Yep. Yeah, he's not quite at the Still percent. needs, like... I think at this point it should work. Give it a little more. Um, maybe. Given the no, he my has. Oh, but grab gets stuffed up by the very jab. precise. Oh, yeah, now definitely is gonna work. He might actually be out of range now. Yeah, now he's definitely out of the range. Yeah, so he has to, he has to get because it's like between now. 80 and 100, depending on character, I guess. Yeah, like lighter characters die at like 60 to 80. Yeah, but Ike is but no like, and that's it. Uh, yeah, Jago has a mountain to climb yeah, now if you want to take this Definitely game. a mountain. It's 0 to 141. One strong hit on J... Any strong hit that <laughs> the bomb Bimbi throws out will just, like, make him go flying. Yep. Oh. And up the forward air. I don't think that was true, but it was just enough to take the game. Okay, so right now it's 1-0. Oh, oh, I think that moment was a 50-50. Like, it... It works guaranteed for low percent, but lower percents, but if it was that high, I'm not sure if it should have been true. But it worked anyway, so you can't really complain. Yeah. I think it was 50-50 there because... Oh, the lilac? Jango's. The lilac. <laughs> yep, lilac. The, the stage that actually doesn't have really any anything wrong except for the occasional going through stuff. Yeah, but then the going through things I think happens throughout like a different couple of different stages too, so I'm not exactly mad at it. The tilt is yeah. a little annoying though. I tried to abuse the tilt with like with clay pigeons, I would like throw one, have it sit on the ground a little since it can cut cut it off. And and bait my opponent to like come towards me. Yeah, it definitely has its uses, it's just a matter of the players learning how to use it. Like, while that's not a bad stage, it just has more of a learning curve compared to most stages. Yeah. But, Jago off to a nice, healthy lead right now, but... Much better than last game, He's that's quickly sure. catching up. I mean, he hasn't gotten F smashed yet, so that's definitely an improvement. Oh, rolled right past the eruption. I think, in a bit, Ding Dong should kill. It might even kill right now, but... double I think, it, I think he is in range. <laughs> It just looks like up. Oh, is this? Yeah, that's definitely it. Uh, the eruption dash guard seems kind of inconsistent on DK. Usually, it's pretty easy to get on characters with telegraph recoveries, but he's having a little bit of a hard time against this one. Uh, and with this amount of rage, just a little more, maybe two pumples, we'll get him to dig down range to die. Especially with this amount of rage. Now I don't think it'll work. I don't think it oh, really will oh, work now. Wait. Oh, everything bad has happened at the end there. Miss inputs. Yeah, that went from really good to exceptionally terrible in the span of a second. Yeah. 
Yeah, but Keith is quickly bringing this back. These percents are tied up. And Ooh, that's, yeah. that's, that's it. The bomb bin becomes back from that. Yeah, that was a pretty nice lead that Jago had, but it doesn't matter if you get F smash to the ledge at 60 and die. Yeah. He, it seemed like Jago also got... He landed on stage while he was up being because of the Lilac yeah. Tilt, and I think that's what ended up costing him the game. Because I expected him to try to go towards him. And the counter pick here... Is he looking for an Omega to pick? Well, there's only a select few, aren't there? I'm not and sure. I don't think that one's one of them. Well, is there gonna be a character change? Is it the Cloud? Blink. Blink. Interesting. He's Jago did say he was interested in developing Link as a secondary, but to bring it out, but to bring it out now is quite a big statement. Link should probably uh, work a bit better. It should be a relatively even matchup, and we're going to Omega Wileys. Omega Wileys. It also depends on how Django uses the projectiles, too. Yeah, because this is going to be a match of disjoints, and in Ike's case, and I know in Link's case, he wants to zone with both his sword and his projectiles. So it's going to be a matter of whoever breaks their zone more effectively, and then gets their conversions. Oh. And the Bomb Bimby just wants to get in. Yep. So your standard bread and butter link stuff, down, down throw up tilt. Yeah, down throw up tilt. Oh, and uh, heal the bombs. Yeah, Jago is going for the soft throw bomb, so they just last on the ground like land nines. But with grab, it goes into a grab punish. Yeah, oh, and another. Of this grab. Oh. oh, the reverse hit of S match sending him completely the other direction. That might have bailed him out a bit. Yeah, if it was a forward hit, he definitely would have died. Hmm. I'm still not sure about this counter pick in a high city situation like this. But it is working uh, pretty decently. Yeah. But as long as nothing happens. None of the same results happen from last game, like the miss inputs. Yep. Link also has a pretty hard time trying to get back from, to stage from ledge because all of his options from ledge are pretty poor. But when he's trying to set his own traps, that's actually why he likes to have fun. Oh, but... Uh, not quite. He I didn't... think I could have seen like an up tilt there. Maybe even a dash attack. I think dash attack from center stage would have killed. Yeah, probably dash attack too. Oh, and he just runs up and up smashes. No fear. And he just dies. Just... Well, so completely even game. Down throw, he wants to go for the footstool conversion, but he misses. Up he had a shield is not good at extremely low percent. Oh, footstool. <laughs> yep, footstool, but he doesn't go for the confirm, just gets guaranteed damage instead. Yep, uh, and now the Mon Bibi really is running away with this with just scrap confirms. And another one. Oh, catch the air dodge with the up smash. Yep. Try to see if you get the up air. <laughs> and now it's back to ledge trapping Link, but he gets out with thanks to the bomb. Uh, Ike's up throw up air is almost never a true combo, so it's 50-50, but at this point I'm not even sure if it'll kill, especially given Link's heavy weight. I'd say you would have to like, find, beat it out and find it oh, back here. Oh. oh, and it takes it. So the Bomb, the bomb Bimby wins over uh, J-0-3-0. Don't was... usually see that happen. It's yeah, usually was... back and forth. Yeah, that was pretty dominant.